the exposure. Okay, I've got the legendary producer, Insane Beth, here. We're... Oh, yes, you are. Trust me. <laughs> 20 years in the game and you're not legendary. <laughs> Just trying, trying. <laughs> trying to be a legend. Well, it, it's going all right so far. We're here at the recording of Bow Down. Yep. So there's going to be two tracks for Bow Down, the original and the remix. Tell me about the concepts for these. Okay. Um, what happened with Bow Down is that I met this guy called um, Big Tunes D a couple of years back. He interviewed me on his radio show and um, it was like two hours of me really showcasing my discography, you know, music I'd recorded with Kinetic Effect, the Ice Pick, you know, Hunk of and a few others that I've worked with. Um, a few months later, he put it onto me that he had this artist called Sparkplug, who I call SP, I prefer to call him SP, but his name's Sparkplug. Um, I was like, I'm not really trying to work with anyone like who's just really starting out really really underground you know I don't mind working with underground artists who are talented but they put in a certain amount of work already but you know spark, spark plug was kind of green fresh I wasn't really interested you know but you know D was on to me on to me I said you know what because we forged that relationship I was like okay I'll give him a listen I heard basically, you know, 24 bars of one of his songs and then I just phoned him at that moment and said, you know what, make it happen, you know, this guy's talented. Um, came up with the idea of Bow Down because, to be honest with you, um, Sammy, I feel that I've never really been given my due in UK hip-hop, you know. Um, so I got into a certain little frame of mind early in the year where, you know, it, not kind of bitterness, just, you know, you know, certain people need to kind of show a little respect, you know what I'm saying? So I had the beat, which I'd kind of done at my sister engineer Cavey's house, and that was like always one of my favourite beats, you know? So I was like, you know what? I need to kind of use this beat. Um, I said to um, the Make It Happen, he gave me SP's details, I sent him the beat, and you know, fortunately, he was feeling the beat. You know, um, and so that's how it kind of came to be. We were supposed to kind of record the song in May of this year, but um, due to um, Makaira, the studio manager, kind of refurbishing, didn't happen. Tried to record the song in October um, in the holidays, but then he had certain kind of personal commitments, so that couldn't happen either. So it's just a thing of, you know, now is the time, you know, nothing happens before it's time. Um, worked out well, you know, I mean, I like to, I'd like to think I only work with artists, you know, who are talented, you know, who've got that, you know, something special, and yeah, SP, he's, he's very talented, you know, and I'm glad that everything, you know, transpired. Okay, and tell me about the remix, there's a crazy load of artists on that. Okay, thank you. Um, the remix, um... The initial lineup for the remix was um, featuring Cerisi, um, an MC who's down with Moish Delta 7 in Birmingham. He's from Birmingham himself. himself. And um, Pound Sterling, like, you know, the heaviest road rapper out there. And Chip Colossus. Um, I know Pound Sterling from, like, road, like, nothing to do with the music business. I basically know his uncle. And I've known Pounds from when he was like young, like, you know, 1920, you know what, you know, so he's coming to the game now. So, you know, I reached out to him. Um, initially he said, yeah, but unfortunately he couldn't make it today. Um, Cersei, again, was going to be on the original, but obviously because things didn't happen in May, um, we're now in December, um, obviously he's got his own schedule, he tours a lot, so it, it's no big deal. Um, Cheaper Colossus, um, you know, hopefully he'll turn up, he hasn't come yet, so <laughs> this um, situation is a bit premature. Um, but w what I do as a producer, I always kind of plan ahead. So I reached out to Rough Styles, you know, Rough Styles is a, a long time ally, and you know, he always comes with that kind of you know, those special bars, those special cadences, you know, love working with the guy. I think he kinda understands me as well, just like my first MC, Kinetic, 
understands me, you know, we've kind of garnered that relationship, so, you know, it's always good to kind of work with him. Um, reached out to Bad Girl Ronsta, who signed to Carl Hines's label, um, Ill Flavor, and Carl is a, a big ally of mine, and I've said in previous interviews, you know, that girl is, she's special, she's just raw, you know, not really on the pen game, but just the delivery. And today she absolutely smacked it, you know, two takes, you know, in, out, you know, that's how a lot of the youth do it today. And that's basically, that's the, the, the type of artist I want to mess with, you know. And so that's the remix, um, you know, hopefully, you know, TV will turn up and then it's not hypothetical, it's, it's real, you know, he hasn't come yet, sorry. <laughs> Definitely. But, um, but yeah, you know, the, the remix is just, it, to be honest with you, it's just a kind of way of kind of bringing longevity to the to the song, Bow Down. And I've really got that blueprint from the Americans. This is what the Americans do a lot. You know, they, they'll do a version or the original version of a song. It creates some heat. You know what, let's do a remix. You know, they don't even actually remix the music. They just fling on to other rapper or fling on a, a singer. Might add one sample and they call it a remix. So that, that's the blueprint where I've got that idea from. Brilliant, so that track's gonna be coming out in 2014. What else? No, nah, it's not, you know, it's coming 20... out the 30th of December. Remix though, remix though, 2014 for nah. remix or is that the same time? Um, we'll see. We'll see. Ah, I'll be waiting we'll by my inbox I, I, with bated breath. I'll be with you though. You'll be the first to play, definitely. Yay! Definitely. <laughs> You'll be the first to play when you interview me when I come to HFM. Okay, so what will, what else can we expect? Apart from your uh, visit to the Exposure Show on HFM, what can we expect from you in 2014? Um, the next thing after Bow Down is Defo. I am featuring Tony D, Still Killer, which is a part two to the original song Killer, which came out last year. Um, for me personally, um, he's the best MC in UK rap right now. And again, kind of like one stage, it's not even really his pen game, it's just his style and flow and that heat that, you know, he carries with him, that aura, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because, you know, you know, there's a, you know, there's a lot of facets to MCing and I like all facets of MCing, whether it's just that reality, you know, that road thing, whether it's the complex cadences and the vocab and the wordplay, or you're just nice, and, you know, and to me, Tony D of Poisonous Poets is super nice, and for me, he's, he's, he's the standard that everyone in UK rap, you know, should, you know, aim for, and that's just my opinion, it doesn't mean it's right, yeah, you know what, I, I, I think I have the credentials to give that opinion. The exposure. The exposure.